All right, so here's my uh, Zero. So when I bought this thing, you know, it was a, a loaner bike, rental bike. Uh, and and whoever rode it, people that rode it, uh, has dropped it, you know, multiple times on both sides. Um, and you could tell, you know, that's always telltale signs. One of the signs is that, you know, the bar end right here is, you know, gets scratched up and stuff. But the Zero is up, the bar end plug is plastic. There's no weight to it. Because you know the, the bike doesn't have it doesn't vibrate, so it's like it's so smooth it doesn't vibrate. So so instead of replacing it with a, a the plastic plug that it came with, I just bought some uh, some cheapy off of uh, I think this was off of Amazon. You know it's like ten bucks. Uh, and it's basically just an insert with a rubber piece here. It comes with three different uh, diameters. So this is the middle middle diameter. It fits in there. You have to kind of squeeze it in there. And basically you just as you turn this bolt here. It you know, there's it two cones right here, right? It squeezes this rubber and it, and it expands it, and that's how it attaches. Um, and it's a very, it's a kind of a snug fit, but you know, you push it in. Um, one thing about it is that this cap here, it's not, uh, it doesn't have like a centering, so so the so the cap to the to the bolt, it doesn't really center, so you you kind of have to kind of you know move it around yourself. So I mean, that's what that's how it is when you buy a cheap uh, ten dollar part. Um, I'm not sure if you guys can see it from this angle, but anyways, uh, there's a, there's a, you should leave a little bit of a gap between the, uh, the cap and the, uh, the grip. Because as you tighten this thing, it will actually screw in, so, so you need that extra, extra space to let it, uh, let it tighten down. Otherwise, if you push it all the way in, uh, as you screw it in, it won't, uh, it won't fully tighten because it would kind of dead stop right here. And that's, and this is important on the other side, the throttle side, because you need, you need the, the, uh, grip to twist, right? So you, if, you, if you tighten this or have this too close, it will actually cause friction on the end of the grip here. And when you twist it, it's like it's harder to twist, but also it can hold the throttle open. And even you let go, it can hold the throttle open. So you have to be careful of that. Um, and if you wanted to, you could actually use that as a makeshift cruise control. But you know, I don't. This bike is, uh, you know, this is an electric bike. The, the range isn't very much, very high. So there's no sense in uh, in doing something like that. Okay, but now it's not, uh, it's free spinning because it's not, uh, oh, here it goes, it caught on. So let me center it. So, so a moment ago it was free spinning because it was still loose and it, it didn't want to uh, tighten that. So I just centered the nut to the, to the cap. So I'm just going to tighten it down. Um, it's off center again, let me loosen it up to recenter it. So again, this thing is just a cheap $10, $10 part. Or was it twelve dollars? I forget now. Whatever it was, it's cheap. You know, it, um, can't expect it to be real nice, real high quality. Uh, that's it. So that's my bar end cap. A bit, look a little bit nicer, a little bit more finish, right? Okay, that's it. Um, and actually, let me show you the other side now. Yeah, I don't wanna too lazy to to do it. But anyway, so. So when you do that side, just might be mindful of the, the, the grip, so that way it doesn't restrict your uh, constrict the uh, the grip from twisting. All right, thanks for watching.